loads of people out there due thousands of pounds back because of tax errors. I'll show you what your tax code means, how it's used and how to check it's right. What is a tax code? Your tax code will be a series of numbers and letters, for example, 1257L, which is commonly used for someone with one job and no untaxed income. The letters and numbers will change depending on some variable that affects how much tax you owe. The easiest place to find your tax code would be on your payslip. If you've left a job, then you should find it on your P45 or P60. You can also go onto HMRC online to find it. What your tax code means. Well, let's start with the easy and most useful bit. The numbers in your code show you how much you can earn tax free from your personal allowance. You simply add a zero to the end of the number. So take in that earlier example, 1257L. After adding the zero to the end, we can see that a person with this code can earn £12,570 a year tax free. This number will be affected by your income and any variables to your income. So a company car would change that figure. As for the letters, well, an S at the start means a tax code from Scotland and a C at the start means a tax code from Wales. You can find a full list of what the letters mean in the description, but here are some of the important or common ones. Common tax codes. If your tax code has W1, M1 or X at the end, then you are on emergency tax. This will often happen when starting a new job, but it's not something you should be on long term. L. You are entitled to standard tax-free personal allowance, currently £12,570. M and N is for marriage allowance. M means you've received a transfer of 10% of your partner's personal allowance and N means you've transferred 10% of yours. OT. Your personal allowance has been used up or you've started a new job and your employer does not have the details they need to give you a tax code. BR. All your income from this job or pension is taxed at the basic rate, currently 20%. This is often used if you've got more than one job or pension. It's worth making sure that HMRC understands which is your main job or higher income, as getting this wrong could leave you with less money. D0 and D1 means all your income from this job or pension is taxed at a higher rate, D0 is currently 40% and D1 is 45%. NT, you are not paying any tax on this income. Tax codes with K at the beginning mean that you have income that is not being taxed another way and it's worth more than your tax-free allowance. For most people, this happens when you're paying tax you owe from a previous year through your wages or pension. Getting benefits you need to pay tax on, these can be state benefits or company benefits. Checking for errors. If you've recently changed jobs, then it's worth making sure HMRC don't mistakenly think you have a second income coming in, as this will change how much you are taxed. You might also be lumped with emergency tax code at the start, especially if this is your first job or near the end of a tax year. It should correct yourself once HMRC receives more information. So keep an eye on it and don't assume your income will be stable until it is resolved. If you've just received an additional benefit from your employer, such as a company car, then expect to see your tax code change. But it is often when errors occur. So double check the numbers here and contact HMRC or your employer to check for any errors if you're concerned. If you have a second job, then making sure HMRC understands which job is your primary job is vital. Otherwise, you could be taxed incorrectly on a big proportion of your income. If you think your tax code is just completely wrong and that's leading to mistakes, then you could check online using a tax code calculator. I'll link to one in the description. What if you're on the wrong tax code? Well, firstly, you should let HMRC know if you believe your tax code to be wrong. As for what happens from there, it depends on what the mistake means. If the mistake is affecting the current tax year, you will often find that your tax code is changed, your employer is notified, and that the numbers from there slowly work things out. 
If you've overpaid, your tax will be repaid to you in your wages, or essentially you're paying less tax to balance it out. If you've underpaid, then you can always talk to HMRC as to ways you can pay back what is owed. Unfortunately, HMRC consider it your responsibility to check your tax code, so it's unlikely to go anywhere claiming the mistake wasn't your fault, which is why checking your tax code regularly is important. It is possible to go back four additional years beyond the current tax year. So if you've been affected for a long time and you are owed money, it is possible to claim back beyond this year. Need more help? There are services out there to support your tax concerns and problems. Some are paid for services, so make sure you check before using them. If you find yourself needing some more support and are on a low income, TaxAid currently offers free support and their website has links to various guides. If you're looking to make some money outside of your personal allowance, meaning tax-free income, then check out this video over here. If you have any questions, write them down in the comments. Like if you found this video helpful and thanks for watching. Bye.